AJ, has anyone got into this state that we're that we're talking about? On earth. Has anyone achieved it? Uh, only once. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel that all of you here will achieve it. What makes you feel that? Because you have a desire to, don't you? Yes. yes. Yeah. And you, don't you have a desire to keep seeking truth? Don't you have a desire to feel bliss? Yes. Yes. Isn't that why you're here? Yes. So now that you know how to do it, won't you do it? Yep. Of course. So yeah, the majority of you here, within a very short period of time, and when I say short period, I don't mean... No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give I'll, us, I'll drive home. Give yourself, <laughs> give yourself a few years. <laughs> like it's impossible for you to deal with all of your emotions like that. The reason why? Because it would kill you. It would kill you. Like most of us have such big sad and grieving type of emotions to deal with, that if we could feel them all instantly, we wouldn't cope with it emotionally inside of ourselves. Uh, we'd die from the experience. So you need to learn to trust that your soul will do it at the speed that you want to. Of course, you can control the speed. So if you have a pure desire to feel every emotion, then the speed will be as rapid as it can possibly be, given your emotional damage. But if you have a desire to suppress the painful emotions, then the speed is going to be... It's just not convenient right now. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware... <laughs> there goes one third of my life, I'm aware. Oh, wow. All right, every time that I'm with some friends, there goes maybe another, what, sort of one fifth of my life. Yeah. Every time I'm asleep, well, you can actually choose to do it when you're asleep. Yeah. So, you know, but then again, you might be having quite a bit of fun when you're asleep. Yeah. So, let's say, uh, you know, get rid of another fifth of your life there. And then, but by the end, what are we left with? Like, one twentieth of our life where we're dealing with our emotions. <laughs> now, of course, if it's like that, then it's going to just dribble out, isn't it? Mm. All right? But if we actually fully choose, if we fully commit to dealing with all of our emotions, no matter what they are, whether they're painful or pleasurable, what will happen is you can stay in a state where you're dealing with it sort of 80, 90, 100%. In the end, the only time you'll become 100% of the time is when you're at one with God. But you can be up there in the 50 to 60, 70% mark of dealing with your emotions as they occur. But you're going to probably have to make some different choices in your life to do that. So how many people would their boss would not allow it? Like the majority probably, yeah. You know, if they noticed you crying all the time of day, they'd want to go and send you to a psychiatrist to stop you crying. <laughs> so why is it that people choose work and a profession that doesn't allow them... I guess, is, is the soul's passion the, the doorway to into those, into a space, a comfort zone to be able to feel your emotions? And so do you to lead a life that allows you to be at one with God and reach that? Do you want to feel your passions and follow them? Like, I have a passion for traveling. It's like, when I'm traveling, it's like I'm at the core of myself. I know yep. exactly what's going on. and Intuitively, it's like I have eyes in the back of my head. Yeah. So is it the, is that, the, are those attributes of your soul exact doorways where you... Yes, and the, and the attributes of your soul where you want to deny are the same. Mm -hmm. So if you do, like, if you have a true desire in your heart right now to not deal with pain, then that's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to attract lots of situations where you'll be able to avoid your pain. Right? That's a natural consequence. Workaholic. A workaholic is a person who does that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call it all, let's put it all in one big bracket, call it addictions. Right? Addictions are all <coughs> denial. Now, when I say addictions, I'm not just talking about like alcohol or drugs or sex or any of those kind of things. I'm talking about even just day-to-day -day things where we're addicted to certain things. Who's addicted to hugs? <laughs> it's a form of denial. Wow. Huh. Means you get withdrawn yeah. if you don't do it. <laughs> well, is, that, is that the form of addiction in, in the hugging? If you don't do the hug, you don't feel... If, if somebody doesn't hug you, how do you feel? 
Rejected or whatever. So, so what are you avoiding? Feeling the feeling of rejection. Like if somebody doesn't hug you, there's, a, there's this, I think I told you this last Sunday, where there was this couple who walked in the door and he had all these neediness emotions, he wants hugs all the time, right? So I went up and hugged her <laughs> and left him alone. He got quite upset, right? <laughs> Well, it wasn't loving for me to hug him, was it? Because what was he trying to do with the hug? Avoid his emotions. Is it love for me to help you avoid your emotion? No. It's love for me to help you access your emotion. So if we want to have all the club that we all avoid each other's emotion, then we skirt around emotion and make each other feel good. Is that going to be the path, you think? No. Isn't that called therapy? Yeah. Isn't that called therapy?